So with all the factors that can impact kind of a bullet, looking here we're going to look at calculating the distance a bullet drops due to gravity, uh, for example here. So we have the acceleration of gravity, which is an important factor to keep in mind. And the acceleration of gravity is a constant for free-falling objects. And looking specifically here for Earth, a free-falling object has an acceleration rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. So this kind of gives you that visual representation. It's going to accelerate the distance here at the same time points. At one second, two seconds, three, four, and five seconds becomes greater because that object is accelerating in a free fall due to gravity at the rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. So how far did the bullet fall due to gravity? And this is assuming a free fall and no air resistance. So just as you can imagine, uh, someone who jumps out of a plane is going very quickly and when they open the parachute or increase their air resistance, their rate of fall decreases um, quite a bit. So again, this is a free fall assuming no air resistance to make the calculations relatively easy. In this case, the distance dropped, or big D, little d, the equation is distance dropped equals g, which is gravity, times time squared, divided by 2. And keep in mind, we're going to use the constant for gravity at 9.8 meters per second. So in my practice example, what is the distance dropped for an object that, is, that free falls for 3.0 seconds? So again, here's our time, 3.0 seconds squared times 9.8 meters per second divided by 2 will give us the answer of the distance dropped and you should get 44.1 meters. So there's two more example problems. I walked through the first one. First one, what's the distance dropped for an object that free falls for 2.5 seconds? And the second example, what's the distance dropped for an object that free falls for 5.0 seconds, or double the amount of time? So you can go through and grab a calculator, grab a pen, grab a, grab a pencil, grab something to write with, and go through and solve these problems. I'm going to reveal the answers, so hopefully you've paused the video and solved those problems, because here are the answers. Example 1 be 30.6 meters. For example 2, 122.5 meters. So this is an example where even though we've doubled the time, that doesn't mean we've doubled the distance. Remember it's 9.8 meters per second squared. It's that kind of exponential kind of increase there, that acceleration, if you will. Now how do we, how would this apply? Well, we want to apply these calculations to a crime scene. These can be used to try to determine kind of where that shooter may have occurred, where that angle may have um, happened, how far did it fall, where's a convergent point. So we've got a lot of things to consider. And typically if you string out the straight direction of travel and the angle drop, you will determine the angle or degrees the shooter from the target. So this is why it's important to go through and do this calculation because it can help you try to pinpoint what may have gone on at a crime scene.